I mean, if you want to know what I think, that I don't have what it takes to win this fight. No, I, I know that you have what it takes to win a fight, but sometimes I wonder if you have what it takes to see things for what they really are. So I should just slink into a corner and stay out of everybody's way? No, not at all. But I think that you need to remember why you came back here. It, it wasn't for Jack. It was for your kids. I know that. I know that. And things are going really well with the kids. We're making a lot of progress. The Parker and I are almost back to the way we were before I left. So you think that you can go back to the way things were with Jack, too? Come on, Carly, before the divorce? Or before Simon? I think if Parker can forgive me, anything can happen. Do you hear yourself? I'm sorry, but you cannot erase the changes in Jack's life because you've decided now that you want him back. <laughs> you know what? I know that you don't feel well, and I, I, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff right now. So. You know what? You're right. I don't feel well, so maybe I'm, like, a little too tired to lie to you. The way that, the way that I see it, you should be grateful that Jack has even let you back into his life. I should be grateful? That I get to be a mother to my own children? Yeah. I don't want to sound harsh, but if you look back at how the things went down, Jack didn't have to be good about this. He could have taken you to court. He could have made sure that you never saw the kids again. But he didn't. He knew that they were better off with you. So I think you need to focus on your kids. They're your future, okay? And you are lucky to have them. Jack is crazy about you, Katie, and you shouldn't let Carly or Brad or anything from your past make you think anything different. Jack knows what he wants. I don't know, for now, but what if he comes to some realization later on, the worst thing that could happen is me being up at the altar, looking at the man I love and knowing that he doesn't love... Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Vienna. I didn't realize what I was saying. No, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, Henry, he wasn't ready to get married, and, and I realize now that I was pushing him. But, you know, the good thing is that we found a way to make it work anyway. But you don't have to worry about that, because you and Jack both want this, and, and you're ready for it, and you will have it. Bet you never thought you'd be giving me a pep talk or helping me get ready for my engagement dinner. <laughs> no, but it makes sense. You know, we have a lot in common. We do? Yes. We both loved Simon. We both love Henry. And we can't stand Carly. And we're both starting to heal our broken hearts. You know what? I really see what Henry sees in you. I was about to say the same thing. Oh, enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's ruin your mascara. And, and, and we have a proposal to get you ready for. Come on. Hey, bud, just give me a draft. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it hurt you. I'm sorry for what I did. Hey, buddy, uh, someone wants to know if uh, you're available to join her for a drink. Sure, do you tell her that I've never been more available than I am tonight? You're hanging out at Carly's today. Well, I am, but I just needed to get this. That was Julius, wasn't it? Yeah. We haven't pulled that down in a while. Well, I just started thinking about her, I guess. She said that no matter what happens, we'll always be together. That's the truth. Because whenever you think about it, I mean, she's alive in your heart. You said the same thing after Mom left. So when Carly left, she never stopped loving you. Well, I guess. But are you going to say the same thing after you're married Katie and Mom leaves? Wait, what are you talking about? Carly's not going anywhere. What are you talking about? JJ. JJ, we talked about this. I know, I know it's going to be a long time before you get used to the fact that I'm marrying Katie, okay? Well, Mom's never going to get used to it. Even if it seems like she is. Even if that's true, it doesn't mean that she's going anywhere. You said the reason that Mom came back was so we can be a family again. And if you get married to Katie, she won't have that. So why should she stay? 
So you're not here because Dusty trashed me to you? No, hardly. I mean, he tried to talk to me, but I blew him off. I was still angry. But now you're not? No, I am, but maybe not as much. I don't know, it's, it's complicated. I... So what happened? Well, after Dusty left, I just couldn't shake off some of the things he said. You know, I may be ticked at him, but the guy's really worried about you, Allison. Well, I'm fine. Okay? I, I can take care of myself. You kept saying that I shouldn't turn my back on you. You're not. I'm pushing you away. Yeah, well, he warned me not to let you, Allie. Look, he said if you couldn't even come to me as a friend, then he's afraid that you might do something. Like what? That was something self-destructive, like getting into crystal meth. Allison, listen, even if we can't be together, I don't want to see you back like you were when you left Seattle. Well, now that you've said your piece, your conscience can be clear. If I do something stupid, I'll make sure everybody knows you're not responsible. No, Allison, How's that? Listen, I care about you probably more than you'll ever know. I mean, if I didn't, that if would If you be... didn't... Just promise me you won't do anything crazy. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. Yeah. I'll take care of myself. I promise.